Do you guys ever just tune into ESPN and hear these shows talk about you guys? Uh, personally, I don't have cable at home, so um, sometimes I can get it on the app and see um, little things here and here. But uh, mainly on Twitter and Instagram is where I see um, them talking about us a little. So yeah. Do you find it kind of cool? I mean, I don't know if you were, if you were young, um, just watching guys like Jalen Rose or these guys that you've been watching TV growing up. You know, saying, "Oh, San Diego State, wow!" Like, is that cool for you guys? Yeah, it's pretty cool to see um, being on mainstream television. Um, but I always hear them talk about um, um, like who have we played and stuff like that. So I just I'm willing to. I wasn't ready to um, prove them wrong, you know. So you kind of use that as a, I guess, a motivating factor because you still hear the talks even at 26 and 0. Yeah, for sure. For sure. You guys have always been one game at a time kind of guys. So how does it feel that to hear your coach say, let's get greedy and win them all? Do you like that approach? I think um, he's talking bigger picture, but at the end of the day, when he comes in the film room and when we get in a huddle on the court, um, all we worry about is the next game. So for now, that's UNLV. And um, by going, by getting greedy and going unbeaten in the regular season, we're going to do it by taking it game by game. Yeah, I agree with what Yanni said. Um, I think we've always had bigger goals, bigger aspirations than just one game. Um, Dutch might maybe just not hadn't uh, mentioned it. But, um, you know, I think we're just staying the same, take it one moment at a time, one play. So I think. Um, it's the same mindset. Dutch was talking earlier about um, you know, you've had a lot of time off lately. He's just decided the most important thing is the rest legs. Um, just talk about, have you felt that? I mean, you get the second half of the game like Boise. Do you feel like, wow, we have way fresher legs than they do? Um, I haven't really focused on opposition, but in terms of me, I feel like um, my legs are fresh for sure. Um, I think coaches have done a phenomenal job of um, limited our our practice times, limited limited our minutes in the game, um, and yeah, I think all of us are fresh. Yeah, I think it's it's essential that um, we have a rest time, and um, the cliche that a lot of people talk about is um, those who win in March are those who are healthy in March. So um, that's a huge thing for us. Um, the uh, the starters are playing a lot of heavy minutes, so um, it's important that we all get our rest and uh, and that we're all you know healthy and there's no injuries come March. Did you, I mean, you think back, obviously you've been here your whole, whole career, but when you were at Vanderbilt, did you guys practice this little, I mean, I mean you get the day you practice 54 minutes yesterday, I mean, it was an hour and 15, you have off days twice this week. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Bryce Drew was actually really cautious of our legs too, so um, in that aspect, he was quite similar to Dutch. Um, so after games, we would come in and the heavy minute guys would shoot free throws, and then the guys who played less than 20 minutes would do a little workout. Um, so in some ways it was similar, but then again at Vandy, but, um, it was a very different run. So we had a lot of things to work on. So um, when it wasn't the day after a game, we'd be in there a couple of hours working on a, a bunch of different things. And when it comes to maybe practicing less, you can do that with a more veteran team, right? I mean, you guys can just pick stuff up and film and you don't need a lot of 40 reps of it. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely an advantage having guys that have been in the system three, four, five years now. So. Um, it's, it's definitely a luxury um, that this program has that um, we are picking up things a lot quicker and um, it even translates into game when we change um, defenses or ball string coverage. Um, it's, it's great that we can adapt quickly to those changes. Jordan, the last thing on that, Jordan, I know you talked about in the last couple of years in March, you've been moving the ball. Um, how, how have you changed things and prepared for it? And how much is this, you mentioned you'd like to go fresh, how much has this helped you? Um, yeah, I think it's helped a lot. I think Coach Acker has done a great job just um, progressing me throughout the year um, and then being smarter with my workouts that I do ind individually, um, being cautious of my legs and then knowing when I could push um, through some stuff. So I think it's, uh, it's been a great year. And then uh, Jordan, you got a chance to cut down the nets uh, your freshman year in the tournament. Um, how did last week kind of compare, or you know, be honest, how did those two compare? Well, obviously both great moments. Yeah, definitely great moments. Um, freshman year, it was more exhilaration because we had just um, made it to the tournament after that win. Um, you know, it was kind of surreal coming in as a five seed. We didn't, we didn't really know, or I personally didn't know what it was all about. Um, cutting down it in Viejas, it was a lot different. Um, it was, I was surprised. I didn't know we were going to cut down nets at that at that time. I, I just saw the students piling up. 
Um, it was crazy to look back on the pictures and see how many students were really out there. Um, it was just, it was another surreal feeling, but um, I think the one freshman year was just it was just crazier because that was the one that really sent us to the NCAA tournament. The Jordan for you, uh, I think you mentioned this earlier. Is it hard for you or even you young to to rest your legs just because you know you always want to get shots up? You guys always want to do that. So how do you kind of combat the two? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it is tough. We got a whole bunch of grinders in our team, so um, we're always wanting to get in the jam and, and extra work and whenever we can. Um, but I think a big reason the practices are a little short is because pretty much the whole team is in there at 9 a.m. Um, with the individual coach getting their individual workouts in. So um, we're on the court for 30 minutes and we make it efficient because um, it's either only one or two guys working out, so we're getting a lot of reps, um, and that's allowing us to have kind of shorter practices and focus on um, our team defense and what we're going to do for the next game. Yeah, I agree. Um, you know, I just agree with what Yanni said in that aspect. Um, the other day, everybody was down there at 9 a.m. Felt like a, a second practice for us. Um, literally, everybody in the team was down there working out at 9 a.m. So I think that just gives us the ability to um, focus on team stuff when we actually come into practice. So it helps us out. Yanni, Jordan was talking about a surreal moment. Um, do you find it kind of surreal that last year, couldn't win and then this year you can't lose is that, I mean, that that's to me that's just such an, an odd yeah. two-year stretch yeah yeah um it's a tale of two different worlds so um no i mean it's it's been an unreal run and if i was to describe one word um the feeling of cutting down that net would be surreal so uh, i'm just thankful for the situation um that i've landed in. i'm thankful for coach dutch and the opportunity he gave me and i mean i'm just blessed and honored to be a part of this whole situation in general they're going to unveil a banner with the college championship tomorrow night. And, and the reason they're going to do it this season instead of next season is so that you, KJ, and Nolan can actually see it. Well, um, just talk about that and how appreciative you are not having to come back in a year or two. Yeah, yeah. I actually just got told that 30 seconds before I walked in here. So, um, I mean, that's pretty awesome that the whole program and everyone around this program has managed to do that. Um, and it just shows, it shows us gratitude and, and we're just blessed to be a part of, um, you know, a program that's willing to do something like that and thank the seniors for what they've given um, this team and program. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be an exciting moment um, when that banner drops and probably a moment that us three seniors and everyone on this team will remember for the rest of their lives.